So once again, it's almost out of Shabbos, a brief thought on the Parsha. So this week we read Parsha's Vayechi, and we say farewell to Chumash Bereshis. Chumash Bereshis is Sifron Shel Ovois. So we say goodbye to Avoiseinu Hagdoishim. Chumash Shemois is defined by the Ramban, Sefer HaGolus Vahagaulo. And whenever we read Parshas Vayechi, in my imagination, I feel like a little boy, a little girl, first day going to school on his own, first day going to Chayda on his own, with his briefcase strapped to his back, unsteady steps, and every few steps he looks back to father and mother, to Abba and Nima, standing by the window, waving him, Shalom, with tears in their eyes. And the little boy and girl has tears in his eyes. So we say goodbye to the Ovis Egdashim. So before we say goodbye, one, one last opportunity of observation, of thought, of learning from the Ovis. Tone de Beelio, we learn Chayavodam Loima, Mosaya Gil Masai, Le Masai Avotai. So, for the past three months, we've been learning and analyzing and dealing with Masai Avois. That one brief and fundamental thought. The Zayda Kodesh teaches us of Romitzak Yanka, Verkanege, Toyra, Voidig, Meleskosodim, the three pillars of the world. Says, those are Avrom, Yitzhak, and Yankov. So let's try to figure out. It's not that complicated. Who's who? Who's what? Goes without saying, Avrom Avinu is Chesed. Titen Chesed la Avrom. Avrom was the pillar of Chesed. Vayita Eishel. So we all learned in kindergarten about Avraham Avinu's tent that was open from all four sides and anybody could come in. We all remember the story of Avraham Avinu with his Achnosis Orchem when he brings in the three Malochim and he gives them Lishoinois Bachardo. So Avraham is the pillar of Chesed. Yitzchok is Avoido. Al Shloishet Voram Oilam Oimeid. Torah Avoida, Rabbi Yoyin says Avoida is Korbonois. And Tfilo as well, because Tfilos can get to Korbonois Tiknum. So the three Tfilos coincide with Avoida's Beis Amigdash. Yitzchak was the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate Korban. So Avrom is Chesed, Yitzchak is Avoida. Yankov Avinu Ishtam Yoyishav Aholam, Yankov is Torah. In Kabul we know that the three top Tfilos, Chesed Gvurit Tiferes, are Avraham, Yitzchok, Yankov. Avraham is Chesed, Pachad Yitzchok is Gvuris, Yankov is Teferes, and Abroch is Tafnun Chesed Gemurah says Teferes, Amata and Teiro. So Teiro avoid the Gemilas Chosodim, Avraham, Yitzchok, and Yankov. That's just a brief explanation of the Zoya. But why is it an overturned pyramid? Why is it the other way around, opposite? The, what we learn in the Mishnah. So the Mishnah beginning of Sechet Zovis puts Torah first, Avoid the second, and Chesed third. By the Ovis, it was the other way around, starting with Chesed, from Chesed to Avoid, and from Avoid to Torah. So let's try to understand, was Avram only a Goim al or was he a teacher of Torah? He was the greatest teacher of Torah, probably excluding Moshe Rabbeinu. The Rambam in the very first Perek of Hilchas Avoides Kerchovim has an unbelievable and beautiful description of the world before Avraham and the world of Avraham. Asor Adoris Miyod HaMerishon Ad Noyach Asor Adoris Menoyach Ad Avraham Hoi Hu Oilam Shomim And the Rambam writes, he describes idol worshipping. He describes the Avodah Zorah that was rampant till the days of Avraham Avinu. 
And after the Rambam describes Avodah Zorah, Val derech hazeh hoyahu oilam hoylech umizgalgal, ad she noilad amud oishel oilam, bu avrom avinu, ho oilam hoylech umizgalgal medechi el dechi, ad she noilad amud oishel oilam, the pillar of the world, and he is avrom avinu. And then the Rambam goes on to describe avrom avinu's greatness, and what he did to the world, how he changed the world. Ad omad eisan zeh, till this giant stood, and he hitchel lamoid velekro bekoil godoil, lekol oilom veleodia sheyesham eloka. And he dealt with all the thinkers of his generation, Thousands, tens of thousands flocked to hear the Torah of Avraham Avinu. How did it all start? With Chesed. So with a little touch of humor, I imagine, Avraham Avinu wants to fix the world. He wants to teach Torah. He put up posters, and distributed flyers. I'm opening a coil. And if you want to register, call this number. Many people called. What's a coil? So he said, in the coil we're going to learn Torah. I'm going to give a shit every day. What's Torah? No one came. Avraham Avinu has a huge letdown. And then he decides, no. I need a different strategy. A week later... Throws around flyers, puts up posters. I'm opening up a restaurant free of charge. A gourmet restaurant. The best food, no charge. First night, he had hundreds of people. People came. They enjoyed the meal. Before leaving, they come into the kitchen and they say, where is the boss? Thank you, they say to Avrom Avino. Avrom says, I'm not the boss. I'm just working here. The food isn't mine. I'm not the boss. And they ask, who is? Avraham Avinu points to the heavens. And he says, Thank HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And they lift their eyes to the heavens and they say to Baruch Hu, Thank you. Who are you? And they ask Avraham Avinu, Who is he? Avraham says, Tomorrow morning come to the Koilo and I'll teach you who he is. When you come to a barren world, the only way you could connect to people is bring them into your tent with chesed, and only with chesed, with caring and compassion. And when you care about people, you open their hearts, and they see the beauty, your beauty, and the beauty of what you stand for, and what you believe in, so Avraham Avinu understood the only way to get them into the tent is with chesed. So it started off with chesed and then gvura, that's avoida, that's Yitzchok Avinu, and Yankov is ishtam yoisha v'holim. So Baruch Hashem, we teach Torah to the world, but we shouldn't forget chesed is so important. So we're living in difficult times. Many aspects of our life, of the tzibur hamedak techem, the Haredi Tzibur not always cast us in a very positive light, especially in this period of COVID-19. Some of the things we do and engage in cause a chilol Hashem. I wish people would focus on the beauty of our society as well. In Eretz Yisrael, the vast majority of voluntary organizations, of chesed organizations, were established and are run by the Haredi community. We are the ones that opened up the restaurants free of charge. And just to mention a few of these unbelievable organizations, whether it's whether it's Ezra Metzion or Ezra Lamarpo or Magen Lechole or Yad Sara or, or, or Hatzolos in every city and every town and, and Zaka and Zichron Menachem and so many organizations which are voluntary and they serve the entire community from and non from Jew and Arab. And that is a huge Kiddush Hashem. I wish it would be more, more stressed and more well-known. And it's in the same in many, 
many places in the world. So, yes, we are troubled by some aspects of what happens in our community, but we should be proud of many others, which potentially could cause a huge Kiddush Hashem. So we say goodbye to Chumash Bereshis, Sifron Shal Avois, and we look back. We already, we already long for Mass of us, and we try, and we daven, and we pray. So before saying goodbye, we also lift our eyes to the heavens and ask a Kodesh Bochu. Kodesh Bochu Yeskolanu, Kodesh Bochu should remember Schus Oivos and Bris Oivos and Chaz Day Oivos. Ubeglal Oivos Toishia Bonim Vesovi Geulo Levnei Venayem Bemeheiro Viomeno Amen. Have a beautiful Shabbos, all of you.